I can't complain at all. It's a beautiful day for baseball, going for the series victory against the Joliet Slammers here tonight in the finale of the series. This is will be your third game, or excuse me, fourth game total here with Evansville. You played in the finale at River City, now the first two games against Joliet, and now for the final game here tonight. What's it like kind of popping into a team like this and having to essentially really get going starting the first four games that you've been here? Um, you know, it's great. The, the staff has been, been welcoming. The, the team's awesome. They're a great group of guys. So it's been it's been a really easy transition coming in, coming in here and uh, just joining this team a little bit late in the season. Um, you know, they got a good thing going here. I just hope to come in and kind of kind of do my part and help help us get to where we want to be at the end of the season, which is ultimately the playoffs. And then, yeah. Does that put a little bit of extra pressure on you? I mean, I'm sure you certainly don't look at it like, hey, I was brought in here for a playoff push, but you were inserted right into the starting lineup. You know, the staff and everybody around you certainly hopes that you can excel. Does that put a little bit of added weight on your shoulders? Um, you know, a little bit, I guess, but I'm kind of just trying to do my thing, play ball, just have fun, um, you know, just met this great group of guys and just kind of gel with them and go out here and finish out the season strong, you know. Uh, it's baseball. I've been playing it for, for a long time now, so kind of just trying to enjoy the game still and uh, and to do that. So the, the pressure, you know, it's there a little bit to, to perform and have to come in with just a short amount of time. But other than that, just looking to looking to have fun out here. So Yeah, you know a thing or two about uh, postseason excellence and excelling out there. When you were at UC Santa Barbara, you guys made a College World Series run that included a super regional winning Grand Slam walk-off style. So, I mean, that must have been one of the most exciting times of your life. Yeah, you know, that definitely was. That's definitely a moment I will never forget uh, in my baseball career. It's just something super special to be a part of and to um, be with that team and in history for the UCSB and all that is just is just awesome. And you found yourself in the UC Santa Barbara record books your final season there as well, I believe, when you smashed 20 home runs in the season, setting the single season mark there. What did that kind of mean to you to leave a pretty big imprint at a school that's got a really solid baseball history? Um, you know, it was really, really cool. Um, just kind of Again, just had a had a fun season with the guys. You know, we didn't we weren't we didn't repeat and go back to the, the postseason that my junior year. So that was kind of a tough pill to swallow. But other than that, just being able to be a an impact player for that team and just trying to do the best I could for him was was, was amazing. And it's pretty obvious whenever anybody sees you out in the diamond, you're a big guy with a lot of power. But one of the things I've noticed when you've been playing first base, you got a really solid glove out there. You've made a couple of really nice picks over at the bag. How much, like obviously, I'm assuming hitting's come a little bit natural to you over the years how much work has gone into becoming a very solid first baseman um you know a lot definitely defense is uh definitely one of my weaknesses i believe and so just trying to improve on that uh day in and day out you know it's long seasons out here uh, throughout the summer and into the fall so just kind of improving every day slowly slowly is uh kind of the goal there um, i mean that's with hitting and defense as, uh, as well and how difficult is it? I remember when I talked to you when you first came here, you'd said, you know, the last game I had played was probably about three weeks ago or so. How tough is it to kind of get up off the proverbial couch, uh, fly out halfway across the country, and then all of a sudden, oh, you're in the starting lineup tonight? Um, you know, it is a little bit, it took a little bit to knock the rust off. I'm kind of settling in here in uh, Evansville and uh, kind of starting to get to know the guys a little bit more and kind of settle in, which is which has been really good. So kind of doing that and then now I think I'll start getting things rolling. You know, it's, it's baseball. I've been playing it my whole life, like I said. So kind of once you start going, you kind of get the hang of it. So you played about a season and a half of affiliated baseball with the Atlanta Braves organization, reaching as high as with the Rome Braves. That's high A or low, low A, yeah. sorry, in the South Atlantic League? Yeah. South Atlantic League down there in Rome. So that must have been a pretty cool experience. Anything that you took from there that, you know, you're trying to improve on once now you're here in Evansville? Um, yeah, definitely. Just trying to get better with um, playing every single day. You know, that was a little bit of a struggle I had going from college to uh, pro ball was just playing every day and that, that daily grind. So kind of getting used to that still and just trying to trying to keep my like body, my swing, my defense, everything. You kind of need to know like what to do on a day-to-day -day basis and kind of let off sometimes. I kind of just want to go, go, go. And so kind of not used to uh, just trying to taking a break, maybe just doing some flips and stuff before the game rather than a full BP every day, which should kind of wear on, wear on you throughout the season. Was there kind of a moment when you first became a professional where you're like, obviously in college you're playing three or four games a week or so, then in professional ball it's six or seven a week. Was there that one moment where it kind of hit you like, man, this is a lot? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think every guy goes through that. I mean, we all love the game. That's why we're out here doing it. But uh, yeah, you'll be playing every day and then you know you won't you won't get an off day for a while and it's kind of it's kind of a crazy thing to think about and so 
doing that um, for months, months in on end, you know, it's kind of, kind of wears on you a little bit. But I mean, you just find ways to get through it, and that's what all like having a strong, uh, strong connection with the guys on the team and just doing stuff together off the field and like in the clubhouse and stuff like that keeps the energy alive throughout the season. Well, Austin, best of luck tonight, and best of luck the rest of the way. Right on, thank you. I appreciate it. You've been.